I pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to my black people. To my black people. I pledge to develop. My mind and body to the greatest extent possible. I will learn all that I can in order to give my best to my people in the struggle for liberation. Great Hampton and the Black Panthers, known for primarily their militant politics, which is just the tip of the iceberg. We're really talking about community organizers. Basically, we would go into these all white and Hispanic areas, feeding kids, educating kids, just while the community banded around and created a rainbow coalition. Imagine what we could accomplish together. We can heal this whole city. Our counterintelligence program must prevent the rise of a black messiah. Neutralize him, agent. Five years for impersonating a federal officer, or you can go home. The goal is to get close to Hampton. It was hard to play William O'Neill because I care so much about Fred and his legacy. He was someone who was an incredible speaker, incredible thinker, teacher, and marked for death by the government when he was, when he was 21 years old. You ain't tell me it was gonna be like this. I will make sure you're properly compensated. The work that Chairman Fred Empty was doing 50 plus years ago inspired legions of activists today. Chairman Fred and Black Panther Party represented fighting for self-determination on their own terms and not in a reactionary way. I think it's important to know that the FBI and the Chicago police blatantly assassinated somebody. But why? Because he was able to unify people. A lot of adults don't even know who Fred Hampton is and that's a tragedy. For me, my interest in him started with his words and ideas. You can murder a revolutionary, but you can't murder a revolution. And you can murder a freedom fighter, but you can't murder freedom. This is an opportunity to awaken people the way Chairman Fred Hampton was awakening his group. When I dedicated my life to the people, I dedicated my life.